Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on my Cub Cadet ST100 string trimmer mower. Uh, this has a 159cc motor on it. And what this is, is it's kind of a mix between a regular lawn mower and like a weed whacker. Uh, there's strings that go on here that I'm actually going to be replacing here in a moment. And it gives you a fairly wide uh, cutting surface, probably about a foot, foot and a half. Um, for my property, I don't have a push mower anymore. And it's mainly because I do have this thing. Um, I do have a weed whacker that I use mainly, but sometimes this thing is uh, what I'll grab first. <clears throat> um, I've had this machine for probably about six years, I believe. Um, the initial reason I got it was for doing food plots and uh, just kind of a smaller machine that I could cut some weeds and stuff out of the way. It does pretty good for that. Um, in general, I would say anything that's like a green grass, it can handle pretty well. Where I was cutting had some other weeds that were more of like a hard, almost like brown stem kind of weed. Uh, it would cut through those but I would also blow through the line. Uh, so this unit only has two wheels and when it's running, it kind of skims on that front there. That front's like a metal disc and then you can also pick it up. As far as controls, this is not a uh, self-propelled unit. It is very easy to push with these large wheels. Uh, and I don't want to understate that. It's very easy to push. So uh, my mom and my stepdad had borrowed this thing for probably a year or two. And uh, you know, my mom's in her seventies and she loved using this thing instead of walking around with a weed whacker. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have not started this thing yet this year. I think it was probably only used twice all of last year. It's kind of one of those things that you either use it a good bit or you only use it once or twice a year, kind of like a snowblower. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some new line on this. <clears throat> now the line that I got is this extreme uh, string trimmer line. I've never actually used this particular brand before. Um, I think the whole time I've had this, I've probably only gone through three or four cases of this stuff. Um, for the most part, if it's just grass, the line lasts a really long time. It's a heavy duty line. It's 0.13 inches in diameter. And this is kind of like a diamond cut line. Um, I've used those and I've also used the, uh, the round lines before. Uh, as far as videos go on the line, there are actually videos where people go through that. I'm not too particular. Uh, this is kind of what the place near me had today. They only had one thing of it, which I would have liked to have gotten two. But um, I would say in general, if there are more than one to pick from, you know, don't go for the cheapest one. Something worth paying a couple extra bucks and uh, getting a little better line. So let's go ahead. I'll show you how this goes on. It's real easy to do. All right, so under the unit, <clears throat> You can hopefully see that there's these catches right here. And you basically take the line and form it into like a U-shape. And you feed that line through that loop and then there's a catch. So I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna try to keep this in, in the angle, but if not, I'll grab the camera and show you when I'm done here. Okay, so what I've done so far is just feed both ends through that loop. Okay, and then you pull it through that tab. So, give me an idea. You wanna to try to get those as even as you can. 
That's not perfect, but it'll work. Let me try doing this a different way this time. So I'm gonna feed one end through first under that little tab. And then, nope, oh, I don't like this way. We're gonna go back to the original idea here. Here's the other side. So, only takes a few seconds to do. Pretty easy. All right, so what I like to do when I'm using this stuff is uh, just kind of tape it here on the handlebars. That's what I've been doing pretty much since I got it. You can use duct tape, electrical tape, whatever. And then just tape that cap on. And if you do blow through any of this, which it does last a while, but from my uh, usage, I'm usually out in a field somewhere when I'm mowing, so it's not something I have completely accessible at all times. Okay, I've not started this yet for the year. All that I have done is I checked the oil. I did put the gas, put some more gas in it. Uh, about half a tank's last year's gas. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of uh, liquid mechanic in there just in case the carb is gummed up because I did leave gas in the carb uh, for the winter which I usually don't do but this one got missed okay so the stuff I usually use is this mechanic in a bottle uh, it's pretty good stuff I'll use other things from time to time too but usually if I'm somewhere and they have a few bottles I'll, I'll get them uh, they seem to last for a while I don't believe I'm sure they probably do expire, but I really don't know how long they're good for. So this is saying pour about two ounces per gallon into the gas tank and then start the engine and run for at least 15 minutes. has the ounces on here. That yeah, should be enough. It's close enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, I'm taking this out to uh, my sportsman's club later. We're gonna do some trimming the whole way around our pond out there we got about a three acre pond probably so we got a good bit of shore bank plus picnic tables um i have a few areas in my yard that i'm going to show you this in use i have a little bit here right on my property line so that's some of the heaviest stuff i have right here and i only own a little bit of it um, but that's pretty close to what i would call hay basically and we'll come down through here. I had something sitting here for a while. Just been busy this year. So still doing a lot of the spring chores. But when you're running this thing, if you are running up against a landscape timber or something, you want to run on the side, on this side here, not the chute side. And then this should be long enough where, you know, it'll cut without the wheel hitting. So I'll show you here when I cut this, I'm gonna run right up. That's if it starts. So I have not started this yet for the year. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Start stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do some mowing here. 
very easy to push. I'm currently pushing this thing one handed, no problem. Alright, we're going to speed the video up here real quick for a moment while I'm cutting around this. So when I get over to the next spot that I'm going to cut, when I set the tripod up, uh, what you'll see happen is I end up blowing through both those brand new string lines I put on. That really did surprise me. That's not the usual case. I would probably chalk that up to the line. Maybe it was possibly old uh, or just in the past I had a better line, but you'll see that here in a second. All right, so it really is all in the line that you chose. So like I said earlier, I've never used this exact line before. Um, I have used the mower lots of times, and I can tell you the other line I had would just cut right through that. So I'm gonna have to put some more line on, take it a little bit easier, but that brand there, I probably wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> One thing to note, so this is a string trimmer, it's not like a lawnmower. So it's not gonna mulch everything up the same. And when you're dealing with this longer stuff, it's gonna lay over and sometimes it's, it'll look like it's not cut. But keep that in mind, it's not like a lawnmower where it's gonna mulch it up.
so gives you a little bit of an idea what that goes through this is a perfect place for this mower because uh, i wouldn't want to bring my rider through here it's hard to tell on the video but there's a ditch here uh, with some nasty roots so honestly i really wish that string would have held up better in the video i'm gonna blame that more on the string than the mower than anything one other thing too this head is adjustable up and down i don't think i've ever moved it pretty happy with where it's at when i was walking over here you can just probably barely tell that right here so i haven't mowed in about a week you know it's spring um and i just let that head of that thing skim right across the yard so it almost does work pretty much like a push mower um i think i have mowed about half my yard in a pinch before when my when my when my rider was down so it's kind of my backup plan for a mower um but if i did actually have to push mow every time and i didn't have a rider i probably wouldn't go with this i'd probably just go with a regular push mower all right i'm gonna do a little bit right here just give you another idea of some usage and then uh i'm not gonna go too crazy like i said i just mainly want to get this thing ready to go for later today and uh i'm gonna try to find a different shop that has string because uh i'm down to only a couple in there that pack only came with five refills so i want to say the other ones i had had a lot more uh and we got a good bit to do tonight so i just don't really care for that cord all right i'm gonna do this area here this is always <clears throat> i'm gonna do this a little bit of this area right here it's just an area that i haven't got to with the uh weed whacker
you're thinking about getting one of these, um, I think they're good machines. I think they definitely have some uses. They have a little bit of a dual use. You can kind of use it as a little bit of a push mower, a little bit of a weed whacker uh, for older people that don't want to carry the weed whacker around. It is easy to start, easy to push. There's really nothing to it. Like I said, it not being self-propelled isn't a big deal at all. I don't think you'd want it to be. It would be heavier. Um, as I said earlier, I got this originally for doing food plots uh, for hunting. And I did a few out where I hunt. I helped two different friends do some small ones too, probably like quarter acre deals. And uh, in areas that it'd be hard to get large machines in. This thing did pretty well. Um, you just gotta watch what you hit a little bit, but it will take out some thick stuff. Um, another thing that these are good for is kind of like fence lines too. Like if you have a small pasture um, or possibly some kind of split rail fence or something around your house, you know, they can uh, work their way down that pretty quickly. I'd also say they're pretty good for going down like flower boxes where you got landscape timbers and stuff like that. So, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment bar. And if you want to, please like and subscribe. Thank you.